Hi all, this is Abhay Mahajan and I welcome you all to this amazing series called Inmo Question of the Day. The question of the day is, find the integral solution of the system x square plus 2yz is less than 36, y square plus 2zx is minus 16 and z square plus 2xy is minus 16. So this is a rather simple problem as far as Inmo standards are concerned. But, but let us go ahead, right? Uh, for those who are following this series uh, very seriously, please take uh, a pause. Try this for at least five minutes, uh, you should be able to get to the answer because this is a really simple question uh, before I give you the first hint. All right, guys. Now, so what do we have is, so we, we can see some, some good uh, things. So we have minus 16 and minus 16 on the right hand side of, of uh, the, later, the later two equations. And the first, uh, uh, this is an inequation uh, which is less than 36. Moreover, we also know that if we add these three up, we'll form a, a very good, uh, you know, uh, identity. So let us let us try and mark these questions, equations as uh, one, and this be two, and this be three. So first of all, let us add all the three up. So we have sigma x square plus two sigma x y will be less than four. So x square plus y square plus z square plus two times x y plus y z uh, plus z x will be x plus y plus z whole square is less than four. And if I take the positive square root on both the sides because we we've been asked the integral solutions. So mod of x plus y plus z is less than two and which gives us minus two is less than x plus y plus z is less than two. Right, x and y and z are all integers and then x plus y plus z lies between minus 2 and 2. So this means we are left with very little possibilities, limited possibilities. So x plus y plus z can either be 0 or 1 or minus 1. So these are the three possibilities. So x plus y plus z can either be 0 or they can be 1 or it can be uh, minus 1. So this is the only, these are the only three possibilities, right. Now what do we have here? Also we have, the good part is, in 2 and 3 on the right hand side, we have minus 16. So as we subtract these two equations, so y plus z into y minus z minus 2x into y minus z is equal to 0. So we have y plus z minus 2x into y minus z is equal to 0. So we get two possibilities here. So either y plus z is equal to 2x or y is equal to z. So which of these two? We have to uh, think upon it. So y plus z is 2x. Now if y plus z is 2x and if I put this in this particular equation, I'll get 3x as 0, 1 or minus 1. So x will be 0, 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 3. So these two are definitely not possible. And if x is equal to 0, if x is equal to 0 and if I put x is equal to 0 here, I get y square as minus 16 or here I get z square as minus 16 which is not possible. So this is also not possible. That means this does not hold true. I hope you got this, right? So y plus z is 2x and if we put y plus z is 2x over here uh, because th there are three possible uh, values to 0, 2x plus y plus z. So y plus z is 2x, so 3x would either be 0, 1 or minus 1. x will be 0, 1 by 3, minus 1 by 3. Since x is an integer, x cannot be 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 3. x can only be 0. And if x is 0, if I put back x in the second or the third equation, I, I get y square as negative, which is uh, clearly not possible. So clearly this does not hold it true. That means y is equal to z. That means y is equal to z. So if y is equal to z, putting back in this particular equation, we get z square z square plus 2zx is equal to minus 16. z square plus 2zx is equal to minus 16. And if I put y is equal to z here, so I get y plus x plus 2z is either 0, 1 or minus 1. Is either 0, 1 or minus 1. So we have two equations now in x and z. x plus 2z is equal to 0, 1 and minus 1. So there are two equations in x and z, but there are two, three possibilities. So we need to check for every possibility uh, with regards to 0, 1 and minus 1 and see if there are any solutions or not. So let us try 
to solve this one. <clears throat> so what do we have is, what do we have is, so x plus 2z is either 0, 1 or minus 1 and we have z square plus 2xz is equal to minus 16. So let us take the first possibility that is x plus 2z is equal to 0. So that means x is minus 2z. So we have from the second equation z square plus 2z into minus 2z is equal to minus 16. The 4z square minus z square, so z square is 16 by 3. So clearly this is not an integer, so this possibility will not be counted. Looking for the second possibility wherein x plus 2z, x plus 2z let's say is equal to 1. So we get x as 1 minus 2z and if I put back the value of z, uh, x in the second equation we have z square plus 2z times x which is 1 minus 2z is equal to minus 16. So we have uh, 3z square minus 2z minus 16 is equal to 0 or 3z square minus 8z plus 6z minus 16 is equal to 0. We are looking for the we are looking for the integral solutions here. So we get z into 3z minus 8 plus 3 times plus 3 uh, 2 times plus 2 times three z minus 8 is equal to 0. So z is either minus 2 or z is 8 by 3. So this possibility is clearly rejected. So z is minus 2 that means y will be minus 2 as well and x will be x will be uh, 1 minus 2 times minus 2 that means 5. So one of the possible answers is 5 minus 2 minus 2 and likewise if we put x plus 2 z x plus 2 z is equal to minus 1 and x is minus 1 minus 2 z you can calculate with the uh, you can calculate this yourself the, the solution will come out to be minus 5 2 and 2. So these are the two possible solutions to this particular uh, system. I hope you all uh, got this. Uh, this was a rather simple question of uh, with regards to Inmo standards. So this kind of question is very low, but it can come and we need to be uh, ready for every possibility. I hope you have enjoyed the solution. Take care.